Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here with Harlem Eubank himself. Like I said before I pushed record there, where you been? It's been a year. Hey, long time, man, long time. I've been in the gym, locked away, um, preparing for fights. And, um, you know, it's taken till now to for one to materialize. So I'm ready to get cracking now. Definitely. Main event again, back on Channel 5, Wasserman, well, Newcastle. What do you know of your opponent? I mean, he's never been stopped before. You seem to be on a good run of these stoppages now. You're getting, you're starting to hit a little bit harder. You're settling your shots a little bit more, and you seem to be getting them out of there. So this kid's never been stopped. We know you like to make statements. Can we see another statement on Friday night? Hey, I think you'll, you'll see a, a statement performance uh, regardless. You know, my last opponent had been in there with world-class opposition and also never been stopped. So... Um, you know, that is on the table. I'm, I'm going in there to, to box and to show people a bit of everything of what I can do. You know, I can box, I can fight, I can move. So, you know, I want to show a little bit of everything. I've been out for a long time and it's uh, a chance to, to go in there and entertain and, and show what I've been doing. Again, uh, you're back at 147 or you're going up to 147. Is that where you're going to sit out or is that 140 if the big fight presents itself? And I think you know where I'm going with Adam Azim. Sort of that. I remember that face off, but we'll touch on that. But 147 right now, but if the big fight materializes down at the 140, are you willing to go step back down? Um, I'm open to them fights. Um, you know, we've trained three times over for, for that fight. So the big fight. Adam fight, Adam fight, yeah? Yeah, the yeah. big fights that opportunity that. The big fights that present themselves, you know, we want them fights, so we're going to make it happen either way. Um, for now, I'll be com campaigning at 147. Um, my body's developed over the last year. I feel strong, you know, I feel heavier. And, um, yeah, I think I've grown into this weight class, so um, I'm feeling good. And, you know, we're going to compete at 147. The big fights can happen either way. I know the reason I ask is because your name has been mentioned alongside Adam and Dalton Smith for a best part of a year and a half, maybe two years now, your name's been mentioned alongside them, but now you've made that jump to 147, and now you've, you want to fight Conor Ben, I mean the Eubank name and Ben name is, is still there, it might not be the Chris Eubank name, but the Eubank name and, and uh, Ben name is there, um, I, well, those three names I've just mentioned, those are the type of fights that you want now, I'm, I'll be able to respect your opponent on, on Friday night, but you do want these names, which is uh, an all British clash, which is going to get the fans coming out and sitting on the edge of the seats, aren't you? 100% they're the fights that I've been, you know, openly calling for. So, um, you know, it's no secret that I want them fights. Um, it's when they're ready to step in there, you know. I, I've tried to make these fights and um, now it's about focusing on my, my path and setting myself up for, for world title honours. You know, I want the fights that take me closer to, uh, you know, world title opportunity. Obviously, going back to the corner, Ben, thing, you know yourself, you've been in the sport long enough now, Harlem, where... It's business and contracts and social media and all these different variables come into play. So when you say you want to fight Conor Ben, in your heart of hearts, can, this, can you see this fight ever getting made between you and Conor? Yeah, I can. I think, uh, you know, obviously he's going to try the, the Chris Eubank fight. And, um, you know, once Chris embarrasses him, there's you know, he's going to have to come back down the, the pecking order and, you know, You'll have to see me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a fantasy fight, isn't it? So, you know, it's not a real fight, but 147 is where I'm ca campaigning at. And, um, you know, if he's campaigning in the same weight class, it's a fight. Mm. And I hope you don't mind I'm going to ask this question. Could be remiss of me not to, and it's probably a personal one. And uh, I don't know if you saw Coogan's interview with Chris out in Saudi Arabia, and it's like it, it was an emotional one from Chris saying that he wants his dad back. and he's not in his life at this moment in time and he almost feels like it's the Conor Ben fight that's going to bring his dad back into to his life and I just want to get your, your thoughts on it all and I don't know if, if you've seen that interview, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think that, I think their relationship, you know, can be, can be healed. I don't think it should be a public thing uh, either way but, um, you know, I think, I think it can be, it can be healed. Any, any issues they've had can be resolved and, um, yeah, I think they, you know, should mend it publicly behind the scenes, maybe. And it's like, like I say, it's, it's it's a personal one for Chris, and I'm, I said, fair play to him for airing that out with with Coogan out in Saudi Arabia. But for you, though, I mean, you are campaigning at one campaign at one four seven, like like you mentioned there, and uh, I mean, you're setting on your shots, you're getting these knockout wins now. They're, you're impressive. And I've got to say, impressive knockout wins. So I'm not a betting man, Harlem, but if I was to bet, what can I bet on on Friday night? 
Hey, bet on Harlem Eubank. Um, you know, you won't lose your money. But if I want to win more money, would it be a knockout or decision? Hey, you know what to expect from me. You know what to expect now. Listen, I won't keep you much longer. I know you've probably got more duties to do in terms of photos and whatnot, but Harlem, always a pleasure to see you. I'll see you at the way in, brother, and uh, good luck Friday night. Appreciate Thank you, brother. It. Thank you as always. Thank you.